Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video about magnolia perfumes, perfumes which have the main note as magnolia. That's quite unusual, it's in loads of perfumes, but usually as like a you know, side note, like it's there but you can't really smell it, it's not the star of the show. So I'm going to be taking you through the ones where it is the star of the show. If you're new here, then hi, welcome, we're all about perfumes here, so check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support, I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll leave links down below to where you can buy all these perfumes in the UK, Europe and USA. Cool, so it's springtime here in the UK and I have seen some beautiful magnolia trees. They are an absolutely stunning blossom and they do smell beautiful. It's definitely quite a delicate note. It's not heavy, it's quite a fresh smell. And I've even heard sometimes people say that it can have a lemony element to the smell and sometimes they can smell a bit sweet as well. But overall, I find them to be a fresh, very fresh, almost watery floral smell. And one of the main reasons why I thought I would do this video is because we have this new release from Estee Lauder, Beautiful Magnolia. And in my opinion, this is the best Magnolia fragrance that we've really ever seen. It's definitely the perfect capture of the essence of Magnolia. It is that perfect spring, fresh, blossomy smell. Hmm. It really does smell like going up to a tree and smelling the magnolia. You've got a bit of a green note, slightly green, and there's also some fresh lotus in here, which gives this that aquatic, fresh, watery vibe. There's also a bit of gardenia in here as well, which you often see paired with magnolia. The two complement each other really well. But what I really love about this fragrance is that it lasts. I think of all of these in this video, this is the best for lasting. And considering it's that fresh floral smell, that you wouldn't expect that normally to be a long lasting perfume, but this one is, and it has really good projection. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone that wants a really feminine, really pretty, blossomy smell. I think it would be perfect for any age group and probably best for spring and summer during the day, but maybe daytime during the autumn, winter as well but just a beautiful universal magnolia and it's really inspired me and inspired me to do this video. My second recommendation for magnolia is from Aqua de Parma and it is their Magnolia Nobile. I bought this from my mum a few years ago and I really like it. It's my favourite from the Nobile range in Aqua de Parma. Magnolia is the main note but in true Aqua de Parma style they've added quite a lot of lemony fresh citrus notes in there as well so it feels very fresh. It feels a little bit rosy as well, there's a bit of a rose in there, very feminine. I got this because mum loves Coco Mademoiselle which is like roses, florals and orange and this is those like floral notes and lemon so it kind of has a bit of a sheeper vibe to it but it's pretty, the presentation and the box are really pretty and classy as well um, and good quality. Aqua de Palma are really good quality perfumes and these in the Nobile range are the sort of female ones and they're eau de parfum, they're pretty good for lasting as perfumes. There's an iris one that's really heavy. I'd also recommend from Bulgari in their Splendida range, they have one called Splendida Magnolia, Magnolia Sensual. And this is in the red bottle. Most of these in the Splendida range are really heavy, oriental ones. This is the lighter one. You've got all that magnolia, of course, but then you also have a bit of orange blossom, which brings out that sort of oranginess, that freshness in these magnolia. And they put tangerine in here as well. So this is definitely my favorite from the Splendida range, just because it has that feminine freshness. I'm not an oriental fan like some of the others in that range. Um, and it's a beautiful, classy bottle. I love Bulgari bottles. And because it's been out for a while, you can usually get this at quite a good price. 
I will try and find out a good price and leave it in the links in the description. And I remember, I think it was two years ago, the Jo Malone London came out with Star Magnolia Cologne. So this being a cologne was quite light, very fresh, but it was all about the magnolia. It came in a cool green bottle. I think you can still get this online, so I'll leave it in the links. Um, but this is definitely more of your light, like you don't want something heavy, you just want a very light, spritzy cologne magnolia vibe. And similarly, Atelier Cologne have a magnolia called Sud Magnolia. And this is really pretty because it has pomelo in, that great fruity smell, and bitter orange and black currant. So it has like a fruity magnolia vibe to it, which I really like. I love fruity perfumes. It does have a little bit of saffron in this, a bit of wood, um, which comes through. But again, this is like a cologne, so it's not super heavy. These are meant to be sprayed a lot and they're not meant to be super long lasting. So this one and the Jo Malone are the lightest magnolias. And then lastly, I wanted to mention Versace Bright Crystal. So this, if you're regular here, you know, I'll talk about a lot. It has um, loads of peony in, which is that a fresh aquatic blossomy smell. And that's really the main note with some lotus and some red currant. But there is magnolia in here and magnolia, peony, gardenia you know these perfume notes are all quite similar they're all that like blossomy cherry blossom as well like spring fresh aquatic floral scent so even though magnolia isn't the main note here I did want to throw it in because it fits into that same category and I think if you like these then you'd like this it's quite similar to beautiful magnolia you can see even the bottles and the color of the liquid it's all quite similar I'd say that this one is a little bit more like flowery, like a bouquet of flowers, almost slight rose. Whereas this one is more slightly greener and spring-like, but they are quite close. Cool guys, so let me know what your favourite Magnolia perfume is. Let me know down below in the comments. And like I said, I'll leave the link to where you can buy all these in the description box. But that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.